Kiyama 2 is a 77-foot cutter-rigged alloy superyacht and whether at sea or sitting in a marina, she is a striking vessel that turns heads. She is fast, safe, and comfortable underway. Being built to commercial specs, Kiyama has watertight bulkheads throughout the boat, systems with backup systems, and a full inventory of spares on board. She was built with no regard for cost or compromise, and consequently, only the best equipment was installed on her. While she is a sophisticated high-tech boat, Kiyama was designed to be user-friendly. The current skipper has been on the boat for many years and would be happy to stay on board full-time or to train the new crew and would even deliver the boat for the new owner anywhere in the world. The transom is an extremely functional space where one can swim, dive and play around on or land easily in an inflatable. It's a bit like having your own dock on the stern of the boat. The front steps at the stern of the boat are designed so that you can exit the water with your dive tanks on, and there's even a hot shower to rinse off afterwards. There's a substantial petrol tank outlet that allows you to refuel inflatables while tied to the stern. The main sail and Genoa were new in 2012. They are woven spectra and still in new condition. The stay sail is Daycron. The main sail is fully battened and a leisure furl inboon system from New Zealand. The first thing you'll notice when you take a stroll around the deck is that there is not one single fitting to stub your toe on. The entire deck on Kiyama is completely clear of any fittings. You'll also notice the solid stainless steel safety railing wraps around the entire boat. There is plenty of space on both the foredeck and aft deck for sunbathing or any other activities. In the two lazarettes on the aft deck, you'll find a dive compressor and other necessary dive equipment, fishing rods and tackle, and an ice maker and a chest freezer. The design of Kiyama's cockpit is superb. This is not just a cockpit, but a comfortable lounge area and the space for the helmsman to operate the boat. The interesting thing about Kiyama's cockpit is that while these two areas are combined, they do not in any way interfere with each other. All the controls for the hoisting and trimming sails are operated from the bridge by the push of a button. Another outstanding feature of the hard top cockpit are the newly installed clear Stratoglass screens. These screens give complete all-weather protection while sailing in cold, wet weather, or heavy seas. The main salon was designed to further enhance your experience by having a full view outside through the large side windows. Sitting in the salon, you can look out onto the ocean or harbor from a comfy leather sofa. The decor throughout the boat is light and airy with teak and holly floors throughout. There is a Bose and Samsung stereo system in the salon and a 32-inch flat screen TV. The chart table, navigational area, SSB, VHF radios, and Iridium phone are on the starboard side of the salon. The Iridium phone, which has a fixed antenna, provides not only communication, but email, voice, and grib files for weather at sea. The galley has lots of counter space, a spacious fridge that may be accessed from the top or front, a large veggie fridge, and is the location of the boat's second deep freeze. The super large induction stove top is ideal for a chef to work in, and an oven big enough to roast a turkey. Walking forward through the watertight bulkheads is the crew cabin, which has two upper bunks and two lower berths. Access to the engine room is from the crew dining area through another watertight bulkhead. The main engine is a very reliable 3208 Caterpillar, and the new 30 KVA generator was installed in 2016. From the main salon, walk aft down the companionway through another watertight bulkhead. The starboard guest cabin has three bunk beds and the port cabin has a double berth. Both cabins have their own en-suites. There's plenty of hanging space and drawers in both cabins and they both have opening hatches, independent air conditioning units and fans. Heading aft pass through another watertight bulkhead and you'll arrive in the spacious master suite. It has a queen size bed, L-shaped, white leather sofa, lots of space, and an entertainment system that will tempt you to be lazy and stay in bed. Of course, this is the best cabin on board and it has all the comforts of home to go with it. Air conditioning, central heating, and an extra large toilet and shower. In summary, the feeling you get when you come aboard Kiyama is complete luxury, comfort, and grace. The lines of the boat are flowing and the finish is exquisite. Besides the very nimble sailing motion and ability of Kiyama, she will give you years of pleasure as a home on the high seas. And we haven't even mentioned the quiet secluded anchorages Kiyama can take you to, or the great parties you can host, or all the fish that you can reel in. There's so much to discover and enjoy above and below the seas on a boat of this caliber.
Moments on Kiyama are what happy memories are made of.